Hello, everyone. In uh, today's episode, we are going to talk about Pro Tools and the Keyboard Maestro. Um, I've done previously a tutorial on uh, Keyboard Maestro using Ableton, but I use much more Pro Tools with Keyboard Maestro because, as you can see, I have a Apple Magic Keyboard without the numeric pad. And uh, because uh, I'm a lazy bastard and I never bought a numeric pad keyboard, uh, but I bought a keyboard maestro, so I can do all the functionality that I need without the need of the numeric pad. Plus, I can do much more things that I'm about to show you. So let's have a look. So the first thing is it's um, nudging the waveform inside the clip. So you just move the waveform. And because I have this beautiful keyboard, I cannot do it. But with Keyboard Maestro, I found a way to hack this command. So if I'm doing Shift and the arrow left and arrow right, I can nudge it. And this because I created it on Keyboard Maestro. And other things I create with Keyboard Maestro is to uh, hold Shift and arrow down and arrow up. So I'm basically jumping. Uh, page within page until the bottom page. So I, I think that there is no functionality with a normal keyboard to do this, uh, but with a numeric keyboard, you can do it. But now I'm just doing shift arrow down, shift arrow up. And other things I created, usually when you want to create a new memory location, you need to use the return button on the numeric keyboard, which I don't have because I have this beautiful keyboard, but I told to Keyboard Maestro that every time I press return on my keyboard, I can create a memory location. And you can see here, when if I press return, it creates a memory location. Uh, another thing, Shift C, I open the color palette. Usually, you know, to create the color palette, you just go here. Uh, but uh, I hacked this command, Shift C, and this color palette. So now I'm going to open uh, a new section. Um, I use a lot Acoustica 7 as my program to clean audio, to denoise dialogue, to the, to the wind, to the plows, to, you know, to remove all the uh, disturbance sound. Um, I, I use much more Acoustica 7 than I use uh, Isotope RX, although I use Isotope RX, but um, I wanted to create a shortcut that if I want to, uh, you know, for example, if this, this, let's listen this dialogue. Hello, I am Marta. There is some background noise. So if I want to remove the background noise, I usually go to Audio Suite, Econ Digital, and I will go to uh, Extract Dialogue. And Extract Dialogue, it's basically removing the disturbance sound in the background and uh, leaving the dialogue clean. But, you know, it's... a quite a lot of uh, steps. So to do this with Keyboard Maestro, I do Option E. And also I can do this very easily. The same if I want to denoise the sound, I usually call Audio Suite, Econ Digital, and it will be denoise too. I create a shortcut, Option D, denoise. So fast and effective. Same for the rustle. So if I want to remove the rustle noise that usually comes with the lavalier, option R. If I want to remove the wind from wind, basically, um, option W. And now the biggest command, um, sometime you have the waveform that it's not symmetrical. So you need to do the uh, phase alignment or also call phase rotation, which is quite tricky. So to do this, usually I will go to Audio Suite, Econ Digital, Transfer to Acoustica. Then again, it's here in Acoustica. Um, let's open it more. So what I have to do basically in Acoustica is to go to Tools, Rotate Phase, Enter, and render back to um, Pro Tools. And you can see that now it's been uh, aligned. But let's undo this action. 
I found a workaround that I just use one command to do the whole thing. So let's put a, a acoustica here, maybe here so that we can see what's going to happen. So all these action are going to be triggered by doing option T. So option T, I open this and it's transferred. So I don't know if you've seen, but everything has been uh, quite quick. So let's, okay, remove the, the zoom. Okay, so option T, transfer to Acoustica, rotate phase, and send it back to Pro Tools. All of this with one command. And that's probably the most uh, complicated macro that I created on, on um, Acoustica. So now that I show you all the... Uh, macros that I created, I'm going to uh, open Kibo Maestro and uh, I will show you Extract Dialog, which is the most simple one. So, okay, I told to Extract Dialog, when you are inside Pro Tools, when I press Option E, will execute the following action. It will open the menu title, it will go to the sub-menu, which is Echo Digital, it will go to Menu Item, Econ Digital Extract dialog, and we will enter the command. So let's do this so that we can see all the action. Okay. So usually uh, the whole workaround will be when I have this audio suite, Econ Digital Extract dialog, enter. And that's extract dialogue, and, and that's the, the things that I want to do. Hello. Right? But because I told to keep on Maestro that when I press option E, which I'm going to press now, it's doing the same. So it's basically doing all the work for me using only one keyboard, only one keystroke. So yeah, this is how I use the keyboard Maestro for Pro Tools. And uh, since I use keyboard Maestro, my productivity has increased by far. I was going to buy a, a, a keyboard with a numeric pad, but then I saw a Keyboard Maestro and I was thinking maybe I should just buy Keyboard Maestro because I use Keyboard Maestro for other things, for Ableton, for my email, for, you know, uh, I automate my whole computer using Keyboard Maestro, not just Pro Tools. But with Pro Tools, yes, you know, when you have to do certain tasks that you have to use the mouse and maybe spend 10 seconds extra with Keyboard Maestro, pam, one uh, mi macro key and you are done. So I will put a link in the description and uh, if you want to know more stuff about Kimo Maestro in, on YouTube there are so many videos about Kimo Maestro and um, there is also a forum dedicated to Kimo Maestro so where you can see what people are doing and on Facebook there are many groups about Kimo Maestro and there is a specific group uh, about Pro Tools. So that's everything for today. Thank you for watching and um, leave a like and subscribe and see you on the next one.